Welcome back, everybody. We've got a great guest with us today. She is the founder and president of Philadelphia Animal Welfare Society, a partner of McSpain Properties, the 2014 recipient of the New Generation of Philanthropy, awarded one of the 40 best businesswomen in Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, Dana Spain. Hi. So good to, so see, to you. see you. Please have a seat. And there you go. There is your audience. Oh, uh, oh so wait, I'm so you. short over here. Well, you know do you do I, that on purpose? Oh, that's better. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> now I feel like I was looking up to you. Here you is are. It, sorry, this is good. All we need are a couple of drinks and we're set. Uh, well, I already had mine. Okay. Jeez, Did, they didn't serve home? you in the green room? Mm -hmm. I got my jack over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we need. Start doing shots on late night television. So I got to ask you, how yeah. are the kids doing? And when I refer to kids, I'm always referring to the animals, by my the way. Fuzzy babies. <laughs> yeah. My fuzzy babies. How are they? They're great. They're great. I have four boys, Aww. ages four to 17. They all still sleep with me. I know that's not the best parenting, but they do, in fact, sleep in bed with me. I, I got to reach just a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I just up, shrunk. I'm going to sit up really, really straight. <laughs> but how's everything with Paws? I need a brand new facility that opened up. Brand new facility, our third location in the Northeast, and we're just thrilled. We're saving lives. We're offering services to families who need them, and, and yeah, it's really great. It's such a beautiful location. You're going to have to come see it. Oh, I can't wait to come see it. And uh, I know you run a very progressive organization. You get everybody involved. I had no clue to what extent. We actually found this photo. Um, uh oh. No, it's great. It's a bunch of animals sitting around the conference room table, all the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's involved. So is it 50, right. 51 percent them and when it comes to decision making, 49 percent the rest of the group? or You know, at McSpain Properties, actually, when they're sitting on the conference table, they decide what properties we're going to buy, what right. plans we're going to go with, sometimes the tile. And when we put uh, carpet samples on the conference table, the ones that they go to that they like and sit down on, those are the ones we're going to use. They're going to be oh, the softest. I love it. Uh, everything else is decided by me. I'm Queen B, and all decisions go through me. Oh, well, we know that you're looking <laughs> out for all of them, so like it's it's perfect. It's a perfect world. Mm -hmm. um, now I live vicariously through you. I do. Uh -oh. So I have to ask you, where have we traveled to recently? Am I seeing anyone interesting? Like, what's going on with my life? Because I live through you. Have you seen anybody interesting? Yeah. Um, are you still single? Yeah. Okay. That's why I ask you. Because you slept with some very interesting people. <laughs> That's not to be talked about here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not. Oh, okay, right. right we still uh, are travel, on the air, right, just so right, you know. Right. Travel, travel, travel. Actually, I'm leaving on vacation in about ten days. Uh, it's that our annual okay. yacht trip. Okay. We will be doing Corsica, Sardinia, uh, south of France, coast of Italy, oh as a family. It's our bonding time every year that we go together. Do you have a favorite place that you like to go? Um, well, I'm a Paris gal. That's my happy mm. place. I was just back there in April. I'll be back over the holidays as well. I'm there twice, sometimes three times a year. Uh, but I know what we need to do. What's that? You and I need to go back to Thailand. Of oh, Thailand? Thailand. How come I don't remember that trip? Was I drinking? There was heavy drinking going on, especially in Bangkok. <laughs> Because we went back, she doesn't remember this, because I changed the flights and then I just put her on the plane. But uh, I changed the flights and we were going to Koi Samoy and I called some friends and said, what's happening in Bangkok? And, you, and they said, there's a rave going on, you have to come back and we went back. Okay. And that's right after we came out of the elephant camp. A a oh my gosh. And wait a minute, because I don't remember riding the elephants. Yes. I know you did. We did. <laughs> Tell me about that. Aren't you afraid of falling off and like getting crushed by one of those things? I love them, by the way. They remind me of giant basset hounds. I, uh, I don't know that I get that reference, but okay, I'm <laughs> going to fly with that. Uh, I, I w I've been an equestrian um, for most of my whole life. I've ridden horses in nine countries. I, I used to uh, yeah. ride mo and race motorcycles with my then husband, and uh, he's not dead. We're just divorced. And um, and I decided, and I've ridden a camel, and I thought, why not ride an elephant? So the, it's, it's an adventure, but a good one. What's the biggest adventure you've been on? I know you're an adventure gal. What's the biggest adventure that I have been on, other than my marriage? Um, oh, okay, wait a minute. I didn't even uh, include that. Oh, that whoops. wasn't on the list. Sorry. <laughs> can, we, can we backtrack on that? Um, <laughs> my biggest adventure um, may have been, I think it, it's been my African safaris. Okay, I think wow. that's, it's an adventure, it's communing with big cats, which I love, mm -hmm. but it's also, once you're there, there's no possible way that you don't believe in something bigger than yourself. It's really very grounding. You go and you're on the veld when the sun's coming up, 
and you realize this is the way that the earth was created by whomever, yeah, whatever you yeah, want to believe yeah. in, but that you're so insignificant and all of our technology and all the way that we live is really just brings you back yeah. to the earth and the universe and, and your piece of it. So every once in a while we got to refresh on that and that's, that's the adventure trips I like to take when I'm in nature and because I don't look all that natural now. And I have been slightly altered. <laughs> you have been slightly. <laughs> we're not even going to get that. We're not even going to get but into that one. At some point, you really have to. You have to become grounded and, and be one with you, mm -hmm. so that you understand what your place in society is. My place is to be as successful as I can be and give back as much as I can. And you've always done that. And you know what? I mean, this show was about lying, but I brought you on because of your convictions. I think that you're. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it, no, it's amazing. I mean, I've watched you walk into a room and men and women just gravitate to you. You know, um, you're it's a homing the, device that I wear. I, I, is they that have, what it, <laughs> it's, it, it, hypnotizes, it hypnotizes everybody in the room and, and then has them write checks oh, out get to my out charity. Of here. Like, I don't even <laughs> buy any of this, okay? Because I know, I know you and you, you, like, you believe in the animals and people automatically, hey, even if they don't, you just say what you believe. Um, and I don't like to pry, but what's going on with Mayer? Are you gonna, what are you gonna do with that? What's going on? I mean, I look at you as this person that can bring such drastic change to the city and. And I would like to, I, I would really like to affect positive change. I don't know that I can give up two years of my life for the campaign before yeah. I get there, <laughs> uh, especially with all of the charity rainmaking that I do. Having said that, I'm still very interested, if not being the head Mahoff, then having a cabinet post that will allow me truly to affect positive change in the communities. Well, the thing is, it's like there are very few people I meet in my life that are winners, no matter how you look at it. I mean, no matter what you do, you are a winner. You Thank become you. mayor, you win. If you don't, you've increased visibility for so many other causes and so many other people. And people like myself that are always looking to take risks and build admiration, you do that. So, like, it's just a win-win no matter how you look at it. Well, I, I believe that, actually. And the more name recognition that I can attract then to my charities, not yeah. only PAWS, but the veterans' charities that I'm involved Everything. in, uh, then they win, too. Sure. Yeah. But it's Our, always nice to see my name in lights. Let's not, you know, <laughs> not kid a kidder here. So t tell me this, though. If you had one thing, what's one mission that you have that you'd like to share here today? A mission. And that could be even just something coming up. Now, I would tell you that it's really uh, making Philadelphia a no-kill city for the animals. Love That's, it. That is on the very, very short list. Beyond that, tackling blight, tackling poverty in our city, because I'm really a Philadelphia gal, and I know that we were founded to be a world-class city, yeah. and I want to help bring us there. Well, I want to thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having Dana me. Dana Spain! When we come back, the Odd Squad's going to weigh in on lying. We'll be right back, everybody.